tonight's recipe. It is an adaption of, do y'all know who Sunny is on the Food Network? She is on the kitchen and she did a recipe um, a couple weekends ago called Sunny's Quick Wild Rice and Sausage Stuffed Squash. Say that five times in a row. Wow. Anyway, I'll post her original recipe um, in the comments below later, but um, I'm going to change up the recipe just a little bit. Hey, Dora, how are you? So, the first things first is let me get my squash out of the microwave. Okay. First things first, I got me a big old giant butternut squash. Uh, with the recipe, it does suggest two smaller size butternut squashes, but I got this big giant one right here. Hey, Laura, and I am going to put my oven on. 350. Oops. All right. So, to cook the butternut squash, I just poked holes in it with a fork. And depending on the size, I cooked this one for 13 minutes. So, it can be anywhere, anywhere in between 10 and 15 minutes in your microwave. You just poke holes with the fork all the way around it. So, you don't have to like peel it or do anything like that with it. It's just the whole butternut squash. Now obviously it's super duper hot and now is the time. Oh yeah, it's hot all right. It's a little bit toasty. All right, I'm just gonna use my kitchen towel and stick that there. Get my plate out of the way. Okay, so now that I have that here, I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit. Hey Shannon, I'm gonna let it cool just a little bit before I um, cut into it. But in my skillet, I have cooking. You're supposed to use sausage. I am using this Beyond Beyond Sausage, Beyond Meat. It tastes really good. This one happens to be the hot Italian. You can use whatever sausage you want. You just need two of the links. So I have two that I have browned up. Look, people, it looks just like real sausage. And it tastes great. So I have some of this Beyond Meat Sausage cooked up. I added some of our Italian seasoning, love our Italian seasoning, and I added some mushrooms, a couple of big handfuls of mushrooms to that. I also added a little bit of oregano. I cooked all that down, and as you can see, it looks amazing, and it smells really, really good. Let me just grab my wooden spoon. I'm going to put it in a mixing bowl right here. Now to this, I'm going to add some wild rice. So I have bought the Uncle Ben's, hey Sue, the Uncle Ben's ready rice, the long grain wild rice. All right, I'm just gonna break it up. And I'm just gonna throw it in there with my meat. Oh, I also cooked onions in here, of course. <laughs> That's just a no brainer in my house. <laughs> All right, so I added that to it. There we go. And now I'm going to cut my butternut squash in half. My oven is preheating on 352, you guys. Okay, the next step now is I'm just going to cut. I well, don't need to cut that off because I can just spell it right off. All right, I'm going to cut it in half lengthwise. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And it's nice and soft to cut now, right? There you go. Open it up. And now I'm going to scoop out all of or most of that butternut squash and put it into my bowl with the rice and the meat mixture. Uh, I do want to get rid of the seeds. I'm going to use my little handy dandy um, corn more. You know, I use it mostly, I mostly use the core part, this little part here with the teeth, for seeding things like jalapenos, serranos, peppers, that kind of thing. This is the melon ball part, but I'm going to use this part to scoop out these seeds. Put them on a plate. Ooh -wee. This sucker is still super hot, people. Probably should have let it cool before I decided to go live. Okay. There we go. So like I said, I made this last week according to Sunny's recipe. 
and it was hey Lynn and it was absolutely delicious so I thought oh I'm gonna make it again but I'm gonna change it up just a wee little bit so I will post Sunny's recipe in the comments and then my recipe my changed up recipe okay so now I'm gonna scoop out the insides here it should be soft enough just to get it with the spoon look at that oh my gosh I love butternut squash I'm, I don't know about you people but it is one of my favorite things to eat I absolutely love it so as you can see this is gonna be so delicious so that and I'm gonna put everything back in here and then I'm gonna bake it so it is like my little boat my little butternut squash boat I do need to use this on this one side here. There we go. Ooh, baby. Some hot stuff right there. All right. So you want to get as much as the, the meat of the butternut squash as you can out. There we go. And then I'm going to fill it up. And I also got some... Parmesan cheese. Hey, Bambi. I'm going to be adding Parmesan cheese to it as well. Let me go ahead and get started with the other side. Oh my gosh. Hot, 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 hot. So, what do you guys think of this recipe? Sound yummy to you? Sounds yummy to me. Okay, let me get my spoon. There you go. It's cooling off a little bit better now. So, just to go over what I have in my bowl, I have the sausage that I browned up with a little onion, some of our Italian seasoning, some mushrooms, and I also added a little bit of dried uh, basil too. And then I added some wild rice, and now I'm adding the butternut squash. And I'm gonna mix it all together. I'm going to add some grated Parmesan cheese because everything is better with cheese. Am I right? I love my cheese. All right, let me finish scooping this out. And I'm going to put it on a baking uh, tr uh, cookie sheet, metal tray, and bake it. Oof, size hot. All right, I think that's probably good right there. Okay. There you go. Let me grab my cookie sheet right here. Put these two little guys right there on here. There you go. Move this all out of my way. I'm going to give it a big stir. So, can you guys see in here? Oh my gosh. You could smell it. It smells amazing. And what a great fall recipe. I also think this would make a great, hey Nancy, this would make a great Thanksgiving side dish. So it would be cute in little acorn squash. Oh my gosh, that would be, you could do the same recipe with acorn squash and that would be a perfect side dish for your Thanksgiving. In fact, I think I'm going to do that now that I just mentioned it. Sounds really yummy to me. Okay, I'm going to grate a little bit of Parmesan cheese right into my bowl. Of course, always buy your Parmesan cheese and grate it yourself versus buying it pre-grated. I'm just gonna do it like this right in here. There you go. A little bit more, I don't want too much cheese. You can always add more on the top if you want to. And stir all that around. I might actually just do a little sprinkling right on the top so that when it bakes. What it, ah, you were thinking that Thanksgiving. Yes, see, great minds think alike. In an acorn squash, I think that's going to be delicious. Okay, let me get my large scoop. This will just make it easier. I'm going to use my large cookie scoop. 
Oh, the grater. Shannon loves our cheese grater. Yes, it's a wonderful grater. And look, guys, I'm just going to use my large cookie scoop, and I'm going to put it inside my little butternut squash boats, just like this. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, my mouth is watering. I ain't lying. This is going to be amazing. Cannot wait to eat it. Now, um, this is going to be our entire meal. We're each going to get one. Stephen is just going to have to fend for himself because Rick and I are going to eat these. Um, but, again, like I said, this would make a great side dish. Actually, these are kind of big. We'll probably eat half. I guess I can be nice and share with my child. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so, oh my gosh, look how yummy. All right, there you go. Now, can you guys really, can you guys even see this? Look, look. Oh, it looks good. All right, I'm going to add a little bit of grated parm right on the top of each one of these. Just a little. Yep, a little bit more over here. And I'm going to pop it in a 350 degree oven, probably for about, well, what does Sunny say? Let me read what Sunny says. I was going to say for 20 minutes. Sunny says, oh, just about 15 minutes. So it wasn't off. 15 to 20 minutes. You know, everything's already cooked. You're really just heating it all through, melting the cheese. Oh my gosh. Amy said that looks yummy. I agree. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. I'm just going to pop those in the oven, and when it's finished, I'll take a picture and show you the finished um, dish. Uh, well, Shannon, it didn't say to pack it in there. I'm just going to leave it in mounds. That's a good question. Um, oh, Sunny also uh, drizzles her with a little bit of olive oil. I might take your suggestion, Shannon, and pat it down a little bit. Hey, Debbie. How's that? I was just gonna like just mount it on there. There you go. Oh, it looks good. So, and that's it. Super duper easy recipe. I'll go ahead and um, get it posted down below so that you guys can make it because it would be great for Thanksgiving coming up not too far away. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight.